2025 Subaru WRX TS First Drive, tuned for enthusiasts, built for everyday thrills. It's been four years since the SDI was discontinued, but Subaru's WRX continues in a 2025 with a new TS trim, where TS stands for tuned by SDI. While the TS badge has appeared on BRZ sports cars and even the Forester in Japan, this is the first time it's available on a WRX in the US. Pros. Unique design elements that make the TS stand out. Comes well equipped, including a larger digital cluster than ever before. Impressive grip and handling, thanks to its tuned suspension. Cons. Performance doesn't significantly outshine other WRX trims. The engine is quieter than expected for a performance model. Lacks the iconic punch to fully replace the SDI. Subaru isn't positioning the WRX TS as an STI successor, but as a best of version of its current sports sedan. It borrows features from last year's TR, tuner ready, trim, and the automatic only GT. But will this TS trim sway buyers away from more powerful rivals like the Honda Civic Type R, Toyota GR Corolla, and Volkswagen Golf R? Car Buzz went to Napa, California to find out. What's new for 2025? The 2025 WRX lineup largely carries over, with the TR trim replaced by the new TS. The TS builds on the TR's features, including Brembo brakes with six-piston front calipers, two-piston rear calipers, and active torque vectoring. Subaru also adds drive mode select, previously exclusive to the GT, which includes adaptive dampers now tuned by SDI to be firmer than the GTs. As a result, the TS becomes the most enthusiast-focused WRX trim, offering the following upgrades. Adaptable dampers with three settings. Subaru's first 12.3-inch LCD gauge cluster. Recaro ultra-suede front seats with blue accents. Custom aesthetics inside and out. Drive mode select with three settings. 19-inch wheels wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza S007 tires. High-performance Brembo brakes with gold-painted calipers. Styling and interior changes. Externally, not much has changed, but Subaru enthusiasts will notice the TS has some subtle updates. The 19-inch satin gray wheels from the TR are still there, now paired with gold Brembo brake calipers instead of the previous red ones. The mirrors, antenna, and lip spoiler are finished in crystal black silica, and the rear taillights now feature a volcanic magma design. Subaru also added a red WRX badge to the grille and TS badging on the rear deck lid. A new color, Galaxy Purple Pearl, is available, though the iconic World Rally Blue, shown in photos, remains. Inside, the changes are more striking. The Recaro seats now feature bold blue leather accents that add a vibrant touch to the cabin. Additional blue detailing appears on the doors, console, and steering wheel. The Recaro seats offer a snug fit, providing excellent support during spirited driving. The TS comes standard with an 11.6-inch Starlink infotainment system, now paired with Subaru's first 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster. While the cluster's graphics could be sharper, it's clear and can display a full-color map, including Apple CarPlay integration. Unfortunately, SDI fans may be disappointed to learn that the TS does not feature any performance upgrades on the hood. The 2.4-liter turbocharged Boxer 4 engine still delivers 271 horsepower and 258 lbft of torque, identical to other WRX models. Power is sent to all four wheels through Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system. The TS comes with a standard six-speed manual transmission, while other trims offer a Lineartronic continuously variable transmission. This setup should result in a zero to 60 miles per hour time in the mid five second range. Fuel economy figures for the 2025 WRX have not been released by the EPA yet, but they should be similar to last year's numbers, which comes to 19 slash 26 slash 22 MPG city slash highway slash combined with the manual or 18 slash 25 slash 21 with the CVD. Driving impressions, combining GT and TR. The WRX TS seeks to take the improvements from the TR and enhance them even further with bits from the GT. This is now the first WRX with a manual transmission to get adaptive dampers, and they have more damping force than the GT in all three modes. 
Drivers can choose comfort, normal, or sport settings for the suspension, each of which offers reduced pitch, 55%, and roll, 30%, compared to the TR's non-adaptive springs. On Napa's less-than-perfect pavement, we found the comfort setting to be ideal, as the sport suspension caused the WRX TS to be bouncy and head shaky. Luckily, Subaru lets owners customize their car with comfort, normal, sport, sport plus, and individual drive modes, the latter of which lets them pair the softest suspension setting with everything else set aggressively. Our ideal setup was power unit in sport, steering in sport, eyesight in dynamic, and suspension in comfort. Subaru also addressed complaints that the TR's steering was too light and uncommunicative. In comfort, the TS also feels effortless, though the sport setting tightens it to more enjoyable levels. The steering is nicely direct but still lacks feedback to the driver, which used to be an SDI trademark. Track impressions, driving in easy mode. Subaru rented Sonoma Raceway so we could further explore the TS upgrades at the limit. Here, the adaptive dampers felt perfect in their sport setting, limiting body pitch and roll to a minimum around Sonoma's steep elevation changes. We wish for a bit more power climbing up the track's opening hill, but the WRX still feels plenty quick on the road. Perhaps owners will tune the Boxer 4 to produce more than 12 PSI of boost pressure. The engine was also disappointingly quiet to the point where we banged the rev limiter several times on track. A shift light in the digital gauge cluster or an aftermarket exhaust may rectify this issue. The manual transmission has the same tall shifter with long throws that has become a staple in past WRX models, but we think the gear changes feel clicky and satisfying. Heel toe down shift came easy, which is important because the TS does not have automatic rev matching like some of its rivals. The Brembo brakes easily bring the car down from track speed, and the AWD grip makes it feel almost impossible to commit a mistake. With a quick journalist behind us on the track, we pushed the TS an inch beyond our limit and almost put the car off the curbing, but the brilliant AWD saved us in spectacular fashion. If you're a novice looking to improve your driving skills and also be able to drive your car year-round, the WRX remains one of the best options. Subaru did not have any pricing for the 2025 WRX available for our drive, so it's difficult to say exactly how this new TS trim compared to last year's lineup. The 2024 WRX base started at $32,735 before destination, and we expect that price to hold, possibly increasing slightly for 2025. This should also hold true for the premium and limited trims, which started at $34,635 and $39,015, respectively. The TR, which started at $41,655, is now gone, replaced by the TS. Subaru hinted that the MSRP for the TS should be close to the GT, which was priced at $44,215 in 2024. For that money, there are other more powerful options, including the Civic Type R, Elantra N, GR Corolla, Golf GDI Slash R. Not all of these competitors offer AWD, which could push buyers toward the WRX, but most come in a hatchback body style, which could factor in purchasing decisions. We'd likely recommend the WRX TS over an equivalent GDI, but the Honda, Hyundai, and Toyota still feel slightly more exhilarating to drive. Subaru's changes for the TS are a huge improvement. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.